In this video, I'm going to show you how you can import your leads or your contacts into Zoho CRM. So from your homepage, you can navigate to one of these two tabs, leads or contacts, and they act very similarly. I'm going to click leads and it takes me to this page here. So depending on what data you have, you might have some entries here or you might be like this where there's no leads found. So if you want to import those leads, what you're going to do is you're going to hit this import button and then you're going to hit import leads. What this brings up is a wizard and what you can choose is either from a file or from another CRM. What I normally recommend is to do it from a file if it's available to you. So what you can do from here is you can just hit browse. You can find the file that you're going to want to import and what you should it should be is an excel file so an xlsx or a csv file those are the types of files that zoho crm takes once you've uploaded your file you can hit next and then if you have a certain layout different types of layouts you can choose if you don't know what a layout is then just choose whichever one is default so i'm going to choose consulting for myself the next part here it says do you want to add it as new leads? So that sounds like what it is. So everyone you import will be a new lead. Update existing leads only. So that means what it's basically going to do is it's going to look in your database. And if there's something in your file that's also in your Zoho CRM, then it's going to update those in the CRM based on what's in the file. And then the last option is both. And basically what both means is that it's going to look in your Zoho CRM. If there's something to update, it will update it. But if there's brand new things in your Excel file, it will add those. So it does a combination of both. And that's one I normally do. So let's hit both. And then it says find existing leads based on, and I normally just do email. So if it's the same email, it'll update. So I'm going to hit next. And then you get to this screen here. So what it is, is on the left is all your fields in the file. And then your job is to go through here and map it to certain things or the specific fields in the CRM. So you can see also what it provides is sample data from the file. So under first name, my examples are John and Betty. Great, so I'm gonna go into here and I'm gonna put first name, great. Second thing I'm gonna do is last name, so let's just see. Yep, that's already in my CRM, great. Email, address, that's what it's called in my file. And you can see I don't have something exactly like that in the CRM, but I'm going to choose the closest thing, which is email. And then for phone number, once again, not something exactly the same, but something similar. And then finally, source. I know that that's actually lead source. And these are all things in the CRM. Now, if you notice, there's one thing here. It's we have said we have an unmapped mandatory field. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to assign a default value. So if you have something in your file, but you don't have, sorry, if you have something that's mandatory, but it's not in the file that you're importing, you could do something like this. So I'm gonna choose company, but my default value is just gonna be TBD, to be determined. So now I don't have that little notification there anymore. I can look at all my mapped fields, that looks good. If there was any unmapped, they would appear here, but I, it seems that I've mapped everything. And I can just hit next. And now it's gonna ask me a couple things. Do I want to assign owners based on rules? So I can click that. And if there were assignment rules, I could use them, but there aren't any right now. And then you could also have a follow-up task. So a common one could be if you're importing these to tell your team to follow up with all these new leads. So you could create a task, you could choose from an existing one. I'm not gonna do that either. And then we just hit finish. This little prompt will come up that it's gonna take a couple minutes. You can just hit okay. I'm going to quickly pause the video and wait for that to be imported. So that was about 15 seconds that I paused the video. And you see after 15 seconds, I get this little import status that it was a success. So I'm quickly click it and I can see the report and say at three added, zero updated, zero skip. So everyone came in and I can see the details there. And now if I quickly refresh in my leads module, there's three people here and I can click and all the information that was in my file is now reflected here. I can see the phone number, the email, the first name, last name, 
as well as the lead source, which are all things that I imported. So that's how you import a lead, and it's exact same as a client. So you can try it now, and best of luck. Thanks for watching this video. Please be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave any comments in the section below.